angel holy God he reigns so our father we say thank you mighty God we raise a hallelujah and we bless you we magnify and we exalt we say Lord shower down father even as we will go into a time of a Sunday worship we are declaring your hand in the midst of the people that father even as the worshipers will worship I'm declaring signs wonders and miracles that the anointing will break yokes whatever will be said and done is to bring honor and to bring glory unto your matchless name father whatever things that you have in store for us may your people be alert and connected in the realm of the spirit that nothing shall be missed i decree in the atmosphere that your people shall have joy 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 in the holy ghost i'm declaring mighty god burdens are lifted in the sanctuary and on the life today that even through the spoken word even through the low goes the written word uh, that yokes are going to be destroyed uh, and your people are going to rise like the cream to the top. Uh, we declare deeper depths and higher heights. Uh, we declare from glory to glory uh, as we speak from and we walk in the supernatural. Uh, we say our father take all the praise, uh, take all the honor, take all the glory. This is your house, uh, a holy house of prayer. We commit each person into your hands and we commit the service uh, that everything that will be said and done uh, will bring honor and glory unto your mighty name uh, our father we just say thank you lord uh, oh we bless you we bless you we bless you masoto korobo kete reshoto korobo satayana mare we exalt you, uh, we exalt you, hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords, uh, lion of the tribe of Judah, we exalt your holy name. Uh, and we say, Lord, forever faithful, uh, mighty, mighty, wonderful Savior, we bless your name. We bless you, Lord. And we just say thank you. The Bible tells us in the book of Psalms 100 to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. We make that joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And we give him glory. Hallelujah. We give him honor. And we say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, some people are in a hospital bed. Others are in the morgue. And some are in the cemetery. But we are in the place of God to magnify and to give him glory. Hallelujah. You didn't hear me. We are in the place of God to bless his holy name. And to say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to live a, a hallelujah in the presence of Jehovah. We're going to live praise and we're going to magnify. Oh, how sweet it is to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. So this time, as glorious please come, we just want to give God glory with them in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus this morning. He's great and ready to be praised. Amen. We serve an amazing God. Father, we just bless you, Lord. Hallelujah.
lift your hands in his presence. Just lift your hands and look to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This morning we are here to give him praise. We are here to give him honor. I want you to forget about everything else and just connect with your maker this morning. Father Jesus, we look to you. We look to you despite our situation, despite our circumstance. We look to you, Father God. We exalt the King of Kings and Lord of Lords.
need an agreement. They just need the presence of God with the saints to give you a breakthrough. You're going through something, man. And all you just need to do is bask in His presence, man. To just shake it off and let yourself go. And this is the hour of visitation, man. This is the moment of transformation, man. This is the moment that you have been waiting for. This is the moment of God's release. Of his very presence. Everything has its place. As God has so established his kingdom. In worship. As David would play the harp. The evil spirit would leave Saul. In worship. When the Israelites wanted a victory the worshipers will worship because instructions will come from heaven and god will be glorified and as he inhabits the praises he begin to tear down the walls on behalf of the people he begin to throw down and confuse their enemies in your worship your victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes when the presence of God comes, you just feel you can run all through the space. There's such an awesome, awesome presence of Jehovah God. You can't be a stush Christian and receive the blessings this morning. Amen. You gotta know how to connect with your God. Hallelujah. When devils are pursuing you and you are in that place where you want God to give you a breakthrough, you can't help but praise Him. You can't help but bless His name. You can't help but Hallelujah. You can't help yourself. Because why? Here is a praise flowing forth. Because you know the victory is right there as you continue to bless the Lord. We bless the Lord because He's worthy. We give Him glory. For he's an amazing Savior. What an amazing love relationship. There's so much love of our Father in the atmosphere. His love never fails. Amen. From the youngest to the eldest. When Abraham was at the age of 75, he was called to go to a place away from his kindred, his kind, his family and go to a place where God will set him up to receive the blessing. In this life, God is looking for your obedience when he gives his instruction. Abraham followed. God is calling and instructing. If we follow, like Abraham, it shall be well. But you're going to make a decision to follow. No man can lead God. Amen. No human being can lead the God of our salvation. He's there from the very beginning. When was that? I don't know. But I know enough to know my Redeemer lady. I don't need to know every single thing. All I need to know is that my Redeemer lady. That what I preach is pure truth. That the life I live is honorable to Him. For there is therefore no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus that now walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. No condemnation. So whatever you are going through, make it your season of breakthrough. Amen. You have power in your tongue. Bible says life and death is in the power of your tongue. Amen. And you speak destruction to the kingdom of darkness. You don't fear. Abraham was not fearful 
He was faithful to the call. Amen. Are you faithful today? I love the Lord because it's his God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is wonderful. And we just bless him today. Because he's king and he's living. I just would like us fast because I know some of you don't know it is an old name. His name is with all the dynamics that we can see. The effects. Just to ascribe on the glory to him. His name is
breaking, a breaking, a breaking of everything that the enemy wants to do. Of everything that makes me feel she will get better out there at this tender age. I cancel it and I declare the power of prayer. Jehovah God. We 
speaking to me years ago and he said, Lady, preacher, I don't know how to call you, whatever you call yourself. He said, listen, I do so much a thing. I think, you know, the blood of Jesus is not sufficient to wash away my sin. I said, sir, the blood of Jesus is the ultimate. And the blood of Jesus is what God has established to wash away sin. No matter how big you determine to be in your mind or people determined to be, God has already established only the blood of Jesus can wash sin away. And it doesn't matter the magnitude of the sin. It still just takes the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Because sometimes people feel they have done so much that they cannot be forgiven. God is not like man. You may do somebody one incy wincy thing. And they will refuse to forgive you. But God, but God, whatever we have done and where we have hurt him, he chooses to forgive. And he has told us to forgive also. So I love my Savior. I love the presence of Jehovah. What a beautiful presence. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give God thanks and we give God praise. We want to open our Bible. In the book of Proverbs 23, just one scripture I want to read from there. Proverbs 23, 23. And then we'll go on into the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 6. Thank you, worshipers. The Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give him glory. We give him praise. We exalt his name. I think it's better on this side now, amen? Yeah? yeah. All right, good. They had a suffering for a reason. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We give him thanks. Amen. So, what does the scripture say? Buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Buy the truth and sell it not. Amen. And also, wisdom, instruction, and understanding. The child of God must understand and know that truth is in Jesus Christ. Amen. And you don't try to add anything to the word. Oh, you don't try to take away anything. As it was delivered to us, even by the holy men of God, the 40 authors that it would have taken to write this book, inspired by the Holy Ghost, let us deliver the truth as it was given to us. Amen. Many a times people add to the gospel of Jesus Christ their own spin. Whatever we add, it cannot be the word of God any longer. Amen. 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 We must recognize that truth, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, lest he come through me. He was clear. Amen. 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 Truth is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Truth is Jesus Christ. Amen. And that truth, we will cling to it. In the truth, there is hope. There is rebuke. There is blessing. And there is comfort. Amen. Amen. The God of our salvation have instructed us in the book of Luke, chapter 17, verses 6. And you would quote it many times. The Lord himself said, If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you may say unto this... Amen. Unto the sycamine tree. 
be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted into the sea and it should obey you. The sycamore tree or the sycamine tree, what is another name for that tree? The mulberry tree. And the mulberry tree or the sycamine tree, the, re the roots go deep, far, wide. It's deeply rooted. And the Lord himself was telling him, them, if you have faith like this time, that mustard seed faith, but like that sycamore tree, all right? You, no matter what comes your way, you will not be uprooted. Uh, because just like the sycamine tree, uh, when the contrary winds blow, it takes more than that to uproot the sycamine tree. Amen. Because it is deeply rooted into the soil. Uh, when your faith is anchored in Jesus Christ, uh, when you are in uh, deeper depths with him, uh, no matter who tell you what, uh, they cannot shake you out of the presence of Jehovah God. Uh, no matter what is said about your life, uh, no matter what become come your way, uh, you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt uh, that you are rooted and built up uh, in the one that called you, anointed you for purpose. Amen. So Jesus said, if you have faith as that grain of mustard seed, you might say unto the sycamine tree, be thou plucked up and removed. So your faith is deep rooted like Psalm said. Psalms 1 and 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers. And though the sycamine tree is deep rooted, we who have mustard seed faith can speak and uproot it. Amen? I just went with it twofold. All right. The sycamore tree, as I said, is deep rooted. But you who have a mustard seed faith uh, can uproot it. Amen. 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 Whether it is uh, a sickness, whether it is finances, uh, we have the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. The people of God, they had some challenges uh, in uh Luke 16, uh, and we say even in 17, they wanted the Lord to increase their faith. But he was saying, uh, it's not about increased faith. Uh, if, if you have this minute amount, mustard seed faith, you're going to say to the strongest thing that stands in your way, and it will have to move. Amen? Amen. Amen. What is a strong man in your way to be that need to move? Amen. Amen. Zacchaeus went up. The sycamore tree. How many of you remember that? Amen. Deep rooted the tree is. And it go deep and far. And God is saying, it doesn't matter how far the enemy spread itself against you. You can bring it down if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Amen. Satan does not harm you. Amen. Sometimes people, you live in defeat because you are not aware of what you have, uh, what you possess. Uh, you possess Christ. Christ is truth. Uh, he is able to deliver you. Uh, but you must have active faith uh, to destroy those things that came to destroy you. Amen. Amen. Don't sit down and take lips. Amen. 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 You got to know how to fight. Amen. Amen. And there are some promises to the believer. That is one of the promises. If your faith is active in the truth, who is Christ Jesus, you can speak to the mountain and it will be moved Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can speak and it will be moved. I remember on the Zoom, I was telling you all something about a person who died. I believe it was on Thursday, I was telling you all of, yeah, Thursday, Thursday night. How many of you remember? I didn't go into all the details. But I was saying about a gentleman and we had to pray because I met him in the courthouse. Yes. Right. I will tell you the Lord reminded me exactly what. And let me see uh, if Pastor will remember. I wouldn't go into the part I said already. But one of the things that happened to me is that I got very ill. And I know it was through with spiritual attacks. And uh, when I came home, the night I was not feeling good, I was 
vomiting. And uh, into the next day, he had to go off to work. And uh, I still was not feeling well. I just became very weak. I could not even eat the grapes. I said I would have two or three grapes. I was not fasting, but how I was feeling. And I felt the attack strong. And I was just praying myself through. And when he came home, I still was not feeling well. Um, somebody came that day for I to pray for them. I did pray for them and release them. And into the night, I really was not feeling well still. And I left the bedroom and I went on the couch. And that is the tree section. I went there on the long couch. And I put my head on the, the arm of the couch and I was praying and my foot was on top of the couch. And it was about two something in the morning. You remember the story now? Yeah. And it was about two something, could be two thirty or a little before that. And as I was there, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. He was sleeping inside, the children were in their room sleeping. And I was praying, and they appeared at my um, front door, those double shot glass door. My curtain, I could have seen outside. And the gallery, there was a short gate. And this child, about two and a half, so I will never forget her. She came, she appeared straight by my curtain. That's after I had the contact with the gentleman I'm telling you all about. And she was not speaking. And I'm seeing it clear. And uh, she was just doing this. I'm just giving you the motion. She wanted to come into the house. And in my sick or attacked state, I say, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And with the two ponytails, she's there, two and a half, and she started to cry. And I shout him out from the bedroom. You remember that? I say, I need a prayer of agreement. Whatever was sent to my home must leave in the name of Jesus. And he came. And he started to pray in tongues. I was still lying on there. I got up and I sit down. And uh, as I sit, I was praying in the Holy Ghost and he was walking around. And I said, she's right there. She's right there. She's not moving. And when we started to pray, I got up and I started to walk and fight that in uh, the faith. And she disappeared. Amen. She disappeared. <laughs> and uh, she never returned. And I don't want to see her again. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But what I'm saying, the man said he had powers. And he wanted to show me what kind of powers he had. But I did not really interact. But he, as I said, whatever, you know, was trying to reach me. But I thank God for the victory. You say, Lord, salvation or removing. And you will know what happened. Amen. You don't attack the children of God and get a free pass. You're not hearing me. Amen. I remember that. We prayed in the Holy Ghost. Instantly, I was 100% better. Instantly. No, I don't pray with demons. You see, he tried to get in, but he couldn't come in. So whatever demon, little thing he said, looking as a child, that I will feel sorry. In your vision and in your dreams, know who you are allowing him. No, though I was very weak, and I know it was a spiritual attack, I was not stupid. 
I was alert in the spirit. God wants us to be alert. Amen? Amen. And the Bible tells us. So these are the promises that we have as children of God. Right? Let us go, as I said, uh, now let us go to Mark. Mark 9, 23. And this is what I want you to understand. If you would only believe. As our brother, the Apostle Mark said. If thou can, oh, canst believe, all things are? Possible. All things are? Possible. possible. Uh, so Mark, in his writing, quoting uh, the Master. Jesus promised to us. This is Jesus' words to us. Amen. Amen. If, thou can, if thou canst believe, all things are? possible to him that believe. Uh, do you believe that God uh, has already made a way for you? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you believe that God is working it out uh, to give you an expected end? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Somebody. Uh, you got to be excited about your God and your victory. Every victory I get, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited about serving Jesus. Uh, you know why? Uh, when I was in my bed of affliction, uh, he was always with me. Uh, when I'm challenged by the kingdom of darkness, uh, he showed up uh, and he fought for me. Uh, and therefore, I will fight the good fight of faith. Uh, I will not let up. Uh, I will not look back. Uh, but I will continue to run until the very end. Amen. Listen, it have nothing out there to the one who truly loves the Lord. It have nothing good out here for us. Hallelujah. We got the good news. We got the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. A lot of bad news. I was looking at a drought in Syria. And you know, in parts of the earth, what is happening with the famine, and even in Mexico, uh, where the food supply is short, and they're saying inflation may go to double digits, uh, not in the too distant future. And one of their main staples is, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the ratchet looking plant. But they said as their main staple, the one with the spikes on it, yeah, the broad leaf. I think it's ratchet, you call it? Yeah, yeah, that's their main staple. I don't know what staple you can make with that, but that's their main staple. I was looking at the news, uh, right? Some people who travel there would know, and all of that. And we are living in a time uh, where we really got to seek the Lord, amen. Uh, now, uh, you know, uh, you may have food and all of that, that's kind of easy for many of you. Uh, but there's coming a time you may have the money, and because uh, of the product not being available, uh, you will understand what shortage really is. Uh, you know, some of you take it for granted, uh, but I'm here to tell you, you gotta lean uh, upon the arms of Jesus. Uh, you gotta trust Him from now. Uh, you gotta train, you gotta be able to train yourself uh, to accept this word uh, and run with it. Don't question every word that God said. Yeah. Abraham ran with a word. Amen. His father, Tiro, was serving other gods and making them. And God called his son, Abraham, to serve him in spirit and in truth and to honor him away from those things so that he will not compromise and that he will be blessed in a whole new land now. So no family or anybody say, I make you rich. But the Lord God Almighty make you rich. Hallelujah. God separate you from all of that unclean thing. That they cannot say it's true that you got rich. But it's true the power and the presence of Jehovah God. With Abraham continuous obedience to Father God. Amen. Because some people like to say if it wasn't for that inheritance, you would have nothing. God said, leave that inheritance. I will give you an inheritance. Sometimes you have to walk away from some things to receive uh, the greater things that God has for you. Amen. 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 I just give God thanks. Because when I look, I see the goodness of Jesus. We sang all around, all around. Everywhere I look, your love is all around. Amen. Amen. The goodness of Abba Father. Mark 11, 24. I'm reading you the promises of the mighty God. So if thou can believe, according to Mark 25, 9, 25, all things are possible. Do you believe today? Do you believe that God will bring you through? Do you believe victory is yours? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We believe that Christ is coming again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I got a ride up in the sky. It's nice, but speedy. Hallelujah. That was on the 22nd. 22. Friday, the 22 of August, 1996. I got a ride up to heaven. But I thank God I'm back down on it for purpose. Amen. So, when you want to know what drive me is the power and presence of God. I've had so many experiences. You know, sometimes you go into the valley, but you always have hope because you know who's with you in the valley. That's why I'm a fighter when it comes to righteousness. I will tell you like it is. I don't compromise and I don't hide. Pastor Chris, we live a life where we don't have to play hide and seek. We are married, he's my spouse, I'm his, and we know that we are committed to each other. They have no game there. Amen. Amen. There are believers who pray in game and you're on the last stream, stop it for you in him. Amen. 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 Stop it. Amen. You can't make up your mind, but then you ain't ready to serve the Lord. Amen. You're double-minded. And Bible says, think not that you will receive anything. Amen. Amen. You need to get single eye and see what God has given to you and not be in unbelief. Because the man who wanted his son healed and he saw what Jesus did, he said, help thou my unbelief. Master, help thou my unbelief. You know, I never, ever, I give God thanks. And I trust I will never. I never, ever had a problem believing that God can work it out. Honestly, from chai, even though everybody tells me that those things will never happen. I knew in my heart, something inside of me knew it will happen for me. Amen. When they said correctional surgery for my heart, I said, no, I will fast. I was 11. I will fast. This word say fasting does break bands of wickedness. That is a wicked thing happened to my eye. So Jesus is going to break it. And my childlike faith that I fasted and I got the victory. Amen. So don't tell me children can't set apart for fasting. Amen. 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 So when it comes to Jesus, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. on the 15th of July, the best day of every year. <laughs> the best day of every year for the past 51 years. Hallelujah. Listen, I just thank God. Yeah. You may not understand it, but I thank God. I was all by my gate midnight collecting gifts <laughs> and taking pictures. <laughs> Saying thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Why are you clapping like you're jealous? Yeah. Clap for me, Jesus. rejoicing that I'm alive. You see, when I was uh, 25 years old, the devil decided to take me out. At 27, he tried it again. But God. But God. At 30, for one and a half years, I saw with one eye, very dim and black on the other eye. But God, yeah. but God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've got the faith that God said that we must have acted. Whatever He gave me, I'm using it. I'm not about to lose it. I'm using my faith to go to places. Just like He will use your vehicle to take you places. I'm taking my faith. I'm using my faith to take me to higher heights and deeper depths. You see, when you're down and you're out and you call upon the name of Jehovah. See that your God is coming to you. You can't help but show this presence. You can't help but dance with the Holy Ghost. You can't help but give him a praise. Because when man say you will not make it, and medical science. 
Ben said, we are going down 50-50. God said, she's standing in faith. No way, no way, no way. No way. I remember praying with my brother who testified last week. I don't want to call his name. I know why. And you will know why too. Right? The one that was shot four times. And I remember in that office, you would come on a Saturday when I would come. We would pray for you. You were like a mummy bandage. Remember that? Fully bandaged. And all he wanted to know is if he will walk again. I said, sir, no, I do not know him. I know him. So I'm not giving him my number. I'm telling him, call me, call me on a, a video call. And I will see him in the hospital. And he was in a Paulus Plain General Hospital. And as often as we could have prayed together, the three of us, we would pray. I said, sir, you will walk again. God said you will walk. And you will come in this same sanctuary and bless him. He stood there and bless him. Last Sunday. That's work coming to the was just there in a bed of affliction but God brought him out. So when we are praising God and you find we look foolish it's because we have been through something and when nobody could have put us out and it looked like a black hole we are stuck in, God just do so. In the name of Jesus and we are out. That's why we could praise him. Some of you have never been through anything, that's why you're so stush this morning. But me who have been through pain, when I am dressed for service, I can still praise my Jehovah because he has been good. He has been so good to me. I will bless him in the morning. I will bless him in the good time. I will bless him when the sun goes down. You see, when you are diagnosed with certain things, and listen to me, they could not understand in the hospital having a pressure. A BP reading of 160, 130, and ready to deliver a baby that's there. I went into eclampsia, but hear what? In eclampsia, I was hearing everything. God was just releasing me how to pray. He was just telling me what to say. And listen, I heard one of the doctors say over me, she's not going to make it. And for my spirit, I was saying, I rebuke it. I rebuke it. I couldn't open my mouth. Uh, but in my spirit, I rebuke it. Amen. Even when you're in your lowest, you're going to fight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Satan talked. He had the first child. And I will not serve the Lord. He thought because the child is gone, I will not serve. But the child is with the Lord, so I will still serve the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. He thought I would have two so much questions. Uh, that I would not be strong to serve the Lord. Listen, I'm strong in Jesus. I boast in the God of my salvation. Yes, in me, I would collapse. I will hear my stand as a strong Amen. 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 He told me, they tell her she will not have children. She is, uh, you know, infertile. She's barren. She has to do in vitro fertilization. But uh, God. Amen. Amen. And when it look uh, like it was happening for me, it was snatched away. Some people will need to see a psychiatrist. Uh, God kept me as sane as ever. And I walk into that church and I give God praise. Uh, because I know that I know that I know my Redeemer lives. Uh, I know that I know that I know. He lives, he lives, he lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever God has set up for me, I said, God, I must not miss it. I always tell God I must treat his people right. Amen. I must always live in his humble grace. Amen. 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 No matter how high he exalt me, I must still be humble. Amen. That's my prayer. Amen. Amen. And I will love people until the end of my days. Amen. 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 You must not be a minister that will become a stush after God has blessed you with everything. Amen. 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 Or a disciple that will become stoosh. 
When you are walking, you know everybody, brother, how you doing? Good morning, sister. You get your luxury ride and all your glass dark and it's up and you dip, you pass them by. That is not nice. Amen. I didn't say stop and roll the windows, but at least you could tip the hole on them. Amen. Amen. I remember when I was showing Sheldon one day, somebody who accustomed to walking, and I'm driving way long before them. Believe that. And I was passing them, I was passing in my vehicle, and they were passing, and I popped in, and I, you know me, smiling and happy, and the person just did so. Amen. It was so shocking. And next time, and they just raised their hand like this. Listen, when we were small, my mother said, You have glass brains and tire food. So I don't have no glass brains and tire food. Amen. I can handle the stories when I have to drive or walk or take a car, whatever it is. Amen. You're going to be humble. Amen. Child of God. And believers, you're going to have character. Amen. You're going to love the Lord. And you're going to love the Lord with a pure heart. You can't say you love God and you're biting up people. Amen. You're going to love God 100%. Long ago when we mined chickens. The mother hen, anybody come in the yard, they pick on them. You remember that? When it spread its wings and it would just fly forth to that person to pick them in their foot. Anybody know about that? Yeah. Oh, you all that mind chicken, you know that. And you know, some people in churches today ask somebody coming, you have some believers who will rush out and take their wings and pick them. <laughs> God will that. Amen. Don't be a mother hen in operation for the wrong reason. Amen. You all never see how the chicken move? Yes. yes, the mother hen will just run fly past them, you know? And if you don't know, I'll show you. <laughs> we have chickens across the road from my house. But I'm saying, uh, don't pick on people. They come and they are unclean up. God will do what he has to do through the world uh, and through his spirit. Amen. 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 So don't be a mother hen. And the Bible says that if Jesus said, if thou can believe, all things are possible. We go to the next scripture as we are bringing it to a close. Let's go across to Mark 11, 24. Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. When you pray, believe. Amen. You cannot go to God and pray doubting. Amen. Believe and you shall receive. Believe and you shall have them. You all seeing it? Amen. That's answers to prayer. We are promised as believers answers to our prayer. Amen. This is the promise we have as a believer. Amen. And as I said to you with uh, the Mark uh, 923, if thou canst believe, all things are possible. Unlimited blessing Amen. if you will believe. Amen. You will have the unlimited style blessing. Amen. And uh, John 1 12 with a grain of mustard seed it shows that whatever obstacle is before you complete removal by your faith by your active faith all obstacles shall be removed and John 1 12 but as many as receive him to them gave he what? power power to become the sons of Hallelujah. The sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Divine sonship. Amen. Amen. We are not a son or a daughter of just anybody, you know. We are son or daughter of the Most High. We are called into our royal kingdom. We are royal priesthood. A chosen generation. If you don't feel it, you better know it right now. You are called into a royal priesthood. Amen. You are called to shine yes. and be a blessing. John 12, 
46. And then we will close with John 14, 12. So John 12, 46. I am come a light into what? The world. That whosoever believeth on me should not abide, dwell, or live in darkness. Whoever believes on Jesus Christ should not abide or live in darkness. Amen. Amen. We are no longer in darkness, but we are the light of Christ. We bless him today. Powerful service. Amen. John 14 and 12. Hallelujah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, powerful. The works that I do, you all seeing it? The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Retain that scripture in memory. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, assuredly, assuredly, certainly, certainly, I say unto you, his people, us, he that believeth on me, the works that I, this is Jesus, you know, the works that I do, you shall do also. And greater works. You ever wonder what greater works we can do than Jesus? Jesus casting out demons when his disciples couldn't. Jesus making mud paste. And healing man's eyes. Amen. 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 Jesus raising his friend from the dead. Amen. Lazarus. Casting out demons from his friend Mary. Amen. Amen. Seven by seven. Jesus said. We shall do greater works. Whatever God has me to do on this earth, as long as I shall live, I will do His will. Amen. I am committed to that. Amen. Are you committed to do the works of Christ today? Amen. I am committed. It doesn't matter who say what. I took a personal decision, my brother. That I will serve the Lord. And serving the Lord means I'm committed to whatever instructions He gives me. Amen. Amen. Because this is not my kingdom, this is His kingdom, and I'm a part of His kingdom. Amen. So I follow the rules to eat the best of the kingdom, Amen. to have the best of the kingdom. Amen. That doors that are shut shall be open as we stand to our feet. Doors that need to be opened. Amen. Our Father, we say thank you. We love you and we give you praise. We give you all honor and we give you all glory. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your healing band today. We thank you for your word that is alive and full of power. We thank you for your promises that are true. Lord, for every answered prayer, we say thank you. For every obstacle that has been removed or and will be removed, we say thank you in advance in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, even for the scripture, Lord, that we shall do the works that you do because of the faith that you have given to us and as we obey the truth, as we obey and walk in life. We are thankful today and we just bless you. For your presence is as heaven to us, Lord. And when we may not understand, may we continue. For we know that all things work together for good. To them that love you and to them who are called according to your purpose. Father, so we bless you and we give you glory. For we know as 2 Corinthians 
4.17 has said, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. We thank you that our light affliction is just but for a moment. But we know one day with the Lord is, is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. We thank you that we have hope amidst all of our trials and testing. And we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you all honor. We give you all glory. And we say, Lord, we love you. We love you. Holy. Holy. Alas. Glorious bliss to join me. As we sing, as we're about to close. Something worshipful. Touching unto the master. Thank you. 